This is a quick demonstration of how to use the Snow Leopard services for accordance that interact with the accordance script library I worked on for quite some time. It gives you global access to looking things up in accordance and in the case of looking for scripture full text based upon scripture references, uh, you can do that without even having accordance need to come to the front. So first let's talk about making sure we have things installed correctly. Inside the library folder of your home folder, there is a scripts folder and a services folder. Two things you need to know when you're installing after you've downloaded the files. The accordance script library goes inside this scripts folder. And then the services that you want to install are placed inside this services folder of your library folder. Now you'll only want to install the services that you know you'll need. For instance, if you don't have or make use of the NIV, then don't install that service. Just the ones that you need, and later you can add the ones that you want. Once you've got them installed, you can uh, open up System Preferences and go to the Keyboard tab and then the Services tab inside of that. And under Keyboard Shortcuts, you can see a listing of all the services that are installed. It's in this menu that at some point you can disable some services temporarily or for as long as you want. But also, you can in assign global keyboard shortcuts. This is a fantastic way to have quick access, not having to bother with menu items. You can have a global keyboard shortcut to gain some of this functionality as well. So let's see how it works. Say we're working inside of a web processing document and we're working on the beginning of Mark. If I highlight this text, what I can do at, my, at the core is go to services and access that through the application menu and there's a sub-menu called services. You can see here then available the installed um, Accordance Snow Leopard services that we have. There are two um, main kinds of services. The ones that begin with the word Accordance, what these do is they take the selected text and they interact with those by then bringing accordance forward and looking that text up in the kind of window that is specified. The other kind of service uh, doesn't need to bring accordance to the front, it still needs to be running in the background or it'll open if it's not already running, but it can interact with it in its own way. You can have it speak the text to you, uh, so if I was to highlight that it would speak Mark 1-1. Mark 1 1, the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Also, I can have it uh, do, if, since it's a short verse, I might want it to just do a quick display, and it'll bring that up uh, in an overhead display. Now, if you've got um, Quicksilver or Launch Bar or Growl installed, it'll make use of that instead of a standard dialog box. But the main way in which this is powerful is when you're working on something you want to quickly insert uh, full text is that's this insert keyword. Uh, what that will do is I can insert text from the first or the second module I have installed or uh, by name. So if I want to insert the NRSV text, I select that and it has done so. And this is by default using the citation format that I have customized for myself inside of Accordance, and you know how to do that yourself. In addition to using a named module, I can say use the first module or the second module. Second module, if I do that, I know that's the Greek New Testament that I have installed as the second module, so it'll do that. Let me bring Accordance forward. You can see uh, that's what's going on. There's the first module, there's the second module and uh, those are the ones that it's pulling from for those designations instead of using named ones. How about instead of uh, doing my owner interaction, I want things to be looked up inside of Accordance itself. Let's say I'm browsing this web page and I'm learning about Antiochus IV and the Maccabean Revolt and I want to look some things up. I can highlight the text and go to the appropriate service. Now in addition to the application menu I can use the contextual menu. Control click or right click and there is services right there. Now I want to look up those are verses so I want to look up those verses here in my first uh, module I have in my text.
text. What that will do is it's going to bring a cordance forward, open up a new window of that type, and then search for that. And how about it? instead of that, I want to learn about the Maccabean Revolt. Um, maybe I don't know when the Maccabean Revolt was, so I'll bring up a contextual menu, and I can look that up in a timeline that's available. Any kind of accordance window uh, tool, or you can search for those. And there it is, Maccabean Revolt in the new timeline. I can zoom out to get a bigger context. Or maybe I don't know anything about Antiochus and I want to look that up. Remember, uh, you, you can install uh, assign keyboard commands. So I've got one here for the first English tool. It's command option shift one. So I can just simply do that after I have highlighted a text. And it will look that up for me. And I can go through and see which Antiochus references are the ones I'm most interested in. So that's how you make use of those. Let me just show you the range of the services that are available. You can bring up English tools, general tools, Greek tools, reference tools, Hebrew tools, user notes, user tools. These look up the first module, but you can also have them bring forward the second module, the second type of English tool or general tool, etc. Uh, a very useful feature is this one that works not by bringing in a new window of a certain type, but just using the current window that's open in accordance, it essentially recycles it. In addition to timeline, you can look up maps and parallel and search all. And in addition to bringing text windows up and searching reverses, you can do the same thing um, searching for words as well. Now, not all of these will meet all of your needs. The idea is that um, they're a starting place, uh, the modules that you have installed inside of the readme file. There are instructions for uh, how you can modify your own. Basically, it means opening up one of those, maybe duplicating one and reusing it, and modifying these properties. And there's descriptions in the readme file of how you can do that, go about accomplishing that. Um, I hope you can find uh, these useful in your work that you do. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. You can find the most recent version of the services and the Accordance Script Library at the Macintosh Biblio blog. Cheers.